Here we are at our 2000 Monterey 262 cabin cruiser for sale here on Norris Lake. Slip is transferable if, if a buyer wants to keep it right here where it's currently located. This one does have onboard marine heat and air conditioning. That's a cruise air, 7,000 BTU capacity. We've got a manual anchor up here on the bow. And it's powered by a 5.7 liter Merc cruiser. 250 horsepower, inboard outboard. Stern drive engine with a Bravo 3 dual prop out drive. There is no engine hour meter on this one. This is the uh, second owner of the boat. They have owned it since 2000. It is a 2000 model. They bought it when it was about six months old. Extended platform, as I mentioned, has been added on. That is a really nice feature. And before I enter the cockpit, we've got a little built-in self-draining cooler and a little uh, hot and cold transom shower. Of course, a uh, transom walk-through uh, door right here. And then that would be a dedicated space for a small little igloo cooler. Got a magma stainless grill that's also being included. It's got a nice little uh, storage case for that. And we've got a battery switch here in the cockpit. And then I've got this bench folded up. This bench seat will, will pull right out. And I'll just show you a little bit how this works. So this is gonna slide out there and there are table legs that, that uh, will fold down before you can let this be fully supported. I'm going to leave it stowed away just for the video so that I can easily access that engine hatch here in just a few minutes. I'm gonna have photos of the bench seat folded out at our website along with the uh, little cockpit table in place. There's a uh, table in the cockpit and one in the cabin. We've also got a small little 12 volt refrigerator here in the cockpit as well. Small little stainless sink. We've got a 20 gallon fresh water tank on board and a 15 gallon waste holding tank. I'll have the fuel capacity listed at our website. I should point out that this driver's seat will fold down into a sun lounge. It does have a bolster, it's in the raised position. Now the brackets for this bolster seat um, are no longer functional. So basically that right now is only functional with the bolster in the raised position, which isn't really a big deal because that's kind of where you want it on this size boat to help give you uh, better visibility over your bow when you're cruising. We've got tilt steering wheel here at your helm station, full engine instrumentation, uh, fuel gauge, battery voltmeter, speedometer, tachometer, engine temperature, engine trim, oil pressure, depth finder. We do have a sea fire automatic fire extinguisher and trim tabs on this one as well. 12 volt power outlet here at your driver's seat. Um, and I should point out that the horn is not functional on this one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and step down into the cabin. I've got the air conditioning turned on. So if you notice that little water stream coming out the side of the boat, that is from air conditioning running. The marine air unit is like a geothermal system. It's going to use the lake water to make hot and cold air. And this one, it is reverse cycle, meaning you've got heat and cooling capabilities. We've got a nice little stainless sink here at your galley. This would be a dual source range. That means you can use it with alcohol or electric. So when you're at the dock and plugged in, you can use the electric side of it. And if you're out in a cove for the night or, or anchored somewhere, you can use the alcohol part of it. We've got a small little Samsung microwave here, some storage built into the boat, and then we've got a Norcold 12 volt and electric refrigerator. Also want to point out, we've got a nice little built-in little waste basket. Just folds right down right there for easy access. And then another 12 volt power outlet down here in the cabin. And this would be your 110 and your 12 volt power panel, as well as where your uh, stereo head unit is mounted. That is a JVC, AM, FM, CD, USB, and auxiliary input stereo. There's a trailer included with this one as well. I'll have photographs of the trailer at the website. Um, I won't be showing it in the video because it is not Excuse me, it's not uh, easily accessible down here on the water where I'm currently at. So this is a uh, convertible dinette. Right now it is converted uh, to a sleeping berth. Now these are filler cushions right here. These come right off. 
and show you how this works. And um, you've got these little support beams that hold those filler cushions in place, and that is the table laying right, right there. So I'm going to show uh, the table in, uh, in the position at our website in the photographs. I won't be uh, putting it in place here for the video tour. I do want to raise this seat to show you that the Isinglass, there is a camper canvas enclosure for this one, and uh, the pieces for it are stowed under here. There's also, uh, now the Isinglass, you've got um, the Isinglass curtains, and then you've also got screens for the camper canvas enclosure, as well as a cockpit cover for this boat. So some navy, navy canvas for the cockpit cover and the Isinglass. And I'm gonna put this V-Birth cushion back where it was, show you how easy that is. And then I'm gonna turn and I'll show you our mid cabin. So this is your other sleeping berth. You've got a little screen window just above. And then that is the air return for the marine air unit. You've got a vent back there and a carbon monoxide detector as well. This is just some bedding that's I've just stowed back here for the purpose of shooting the video. And then here's our head compartment. We do have a manual head. It's a manual flush. A little sink. And that, of course, sink converts to a shower as it is right now. So now you'll find the asking price of this one at our website, www.yournewboat.com. We won't mention those prices in our video tours because they will often change until a listing is sold. Try to get you the full 360 degree view here and then we're going to head back up into the cockpit where I will raise that engine hatch. Now there's another suction of carpet that's going to cover this engine hatch as I mentioned earlier. It's just laying over there on the dock. I've just pulled it out so that I can raise this easily. This is your cockpit table. That's just stowed away there. There is another uh, pedestal mount for that um, and it would sit on the other side of that engine hatch. So this is your Merc Cruiser, 250 horsepower, 5.7 liter. It's a turbo five ignition. Again, no engine hour meter on that. We've got a dual source hot water heater. Dual source means that um, it will use the engine block water. You see the uh, two black hoses that are being routed over there. We use the engine block water to, uh, to make hot water so that you don't have to be plugged into shore power for that to work. And that would be your fresh water tank. That's about 20 gallons. And your waste holding tanks right over here. That's about 15 gallons. Onboard battery charge here mounted on this uh, firewall. And your Halon uh, fire extinguishers mounted over there by your dual batteries. Uh, those batteries don't have a date on those, but those appear to be newer. And you've also got a 1,000 watt inverter that's mounted to that uh, small little wall next to that Halon fire extinguisher system. Uh, bottom paint was just done on this one in the spring of 2019. It's had annual fluid and filter changes by that second owner since the year 2000. Now uh, you've got some steps built in here where you could walk through, step over your your bow. Actually, that is a walk through. That uh, that windshield will swing open. There's your manual anchor. There's your hatch for the cabin. And I'm going to step right back down over here. And I do need to point out what where we have on this one. This is a 19-year-old boat. And we've got some wear in the upholstery, some wear in the, uh, the carpeting for the most part. The boat appears to be in average condition. And step back over to our swim platform. We do have a few stress cracks here on the swim platform and some marks in the decaling, which I'll show you here in just a second. Also got some stress cracks right up here on this section right here. Yeah, here's your decaling here. This one does not have a VHF radio right now. Your antenna is here, it's basically wired for one, but does not have one right now. 
And again, visit our website for the current asking price or to contact us with any questions. That's www.yournewboat.com. This is the 2000 Monterey 262 Cabin Cruiser for sale here on Norris Lake. Again, this slip will be transferable if a buyer wants to keep it right here. And it also has a uh, tandem axle trailer, so you'd be free to take it anywhere else that you like, and we can help arrange with uh, transportation if needed. So thanks again for joining us. That'll wrap things up here for us today at the 2000 Monterey 262 Cruisers.